All right, folks, we are out just enjoying a cup of coffee on an absolutely gorgeous day up in the mountains. We're actually filming a video for the YouTube channel, so that will hopefully air here in the next few days, and you guys will look forward to that. But why I'm out here, Jackery has asked me to do a buyer's guide for people that might be in the market for a Jackery this Christmas. Uh, I've got two Jackeries here that I'm going to talk about, and the reason why I'm picking the 300 and the 1000 over the other line of Jackeries is these two have the MPPT controller. And what that means is they can charge a bit faster than the older ones, and also they can charge and discharge, uh, which will give you some more distance out of the unit when you're out on a trip. Now, everybody is going to have different applications, so I highly recommend that you do research on both units and decide which one is going to work best for you, but I am going to give a couple recommendations based on a couple scenarios. If you are a overlander or adventure vehicle person and you're a part-timer, that means you go out on weekends or week-long adventures, then and you're and you're looking to build a vehicle and you're looking possibly to put a refrigerator in that and you're thinking about how you're going to power that refrigerator, the Jackery 1000 would be the one I would recommend for that. Uh, it has enough amp hours to last, you know, if charged and recharged daily, we'll have enough amp hours to get you through a week-long adventure. The 300 also can run a fridge, but it doesn't have enough amp hours to really keep the refrigerator going for long periods of time without recharging. So uh, you can definitely run a refrigerator on this in a pinch, but this would be the unit that I would recommend. Most vehicles nowadays have cigarette lighters that go on and off with the vehicle. So if you leave the cigarette lighter plugged into the Jackery so that every time you're driving and you're putting some charge back into it, this should definitely last you on a week-long adventure. I would also recommend starting off with the unit fully charged before you take off. Uh, the other nice thing about going this route versus, say, a full dual battery system is, A, dual battery systems are expensive if done right, and complicated. Uh, there's a lot of janky systems out there where I've heard about people doing stuff for a couple hundred bucks, but you definitely do not want a janky system in your vehicle that could become a, an actual hazard and might cause you some real serious problems while you're out in the field. You wanna make sure if you are gonna do a dual battery system that it's done properly and done by people who actually really know what they're doing. But if you have it done, or you'd even do it yourself and you know what you're doing, you're gonna find that by the time you buy a good battery, buy good wiring, buy a good charge controller, uh, maybe have to upgrade your alternator, uh, buy a inverter and all the things that go along with it, the 1000 becomes very inexpensive very quickly. Uh, the 1000 runs around about a thousand bucks. I think it's like 999.99. And I do think they got a special going right now, which I will post in the video what specials are going on. But that's why I would kind of recommend this. If you don't really need to put a dual battery system in, don't go with a portable unit that is all in where everything's already in the unit. The other nice advantage to this is you can use it for other things other than what you intended its purpose for. Uh, so like if you're at home and you find that you need some power out in the yard for some kind of tool, you can take the Jackery 1000 out with you and use it out in the yard. Uh, and so basically it can be used for other things. Whereas a dual battery system is going to be in your vehicle and, and, you're not going to be able to use it outside of the vehicle very easily. So that's where, like I said, the 1000 is a good unit. Now, if you are, say, somebody who's living in your vehicle, you've already invested in a good dual battery system because you have more components than what the Jackery 1000 would be able to keep up with. And that is my particular case. I do have a dual battery system built into the van, but I do live in the van full time. And so therefore by between running my laptop and editing videos and running the other accessories that I have in the van, um, I, I did need to put a dual battery system in. But that's where the 300 comes in for me. I still keep the 300 in because it's fairly small, easy for me to store, and I can use it out, it gives me power outside the van. So in the summertime when it's very warm and I don't feel like being in the van editing or working, I can take this unit out with me outside, find a shade tree, and be able to edit and work outside. So having a small unit like this, even though I already do have a power system in the van, is still a great advantage for me. And again, this is the one that I preferred. 
This one you could do that with as well. It's just gonna be a little bit bulkier and more and a little bit more storage, but I will say it was kind of nice the other night. We used it with an Instapot and which you wouldn't be able to run an Instapot on the 300, but we used this with the Instapot. It ran it no problem. And uh, we had an amazing meal uh, using the Jackery 1000. So kind of kind of different things. But like I said, really do some research if you're thinking about buying one, pick the one that's gonna be best for you. I will mention that the 240 has a deal going on it right now, which is the little brother to the 300. It doesn't quite have as many, uh, as much power as the 300 and it has the older controller so it's gonna charge a little bit slower. If that doesn't matter to you, then you know take a look at it because it does have a deal going right now for Christmas. But anyways guys, I hope that you guys found something of use in this uh, video that might help you with your decision making if you are looking at a Jackery. And if you did, please give it a like. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below and we'll catch you guys again outside.